right? Hi, this is Kimmy B here with uh, Pretzels in History. Okay, so I'm standing on the side here at the Mannheim Central Pool. What are we talking about this pool for? Why is this so important? Well, we're gonna go back a long time ago. We're gonna go back from like the um, 50s, in between the 50s to 70s. Because around that time, there was a teacher here that once said, hey, this town doesn't have a pool. I'm gonna build a pool. They used to do father and son picnics here back in the 60s, 70s, and I think in the early 80s, and then for some reason they stopped that because I've been going to this pool since I was two to three years old and I don't ever remember picnics being here. Uh, I do remember you could have a cookout though with your own picnic, but not a town picnic. They used to even have a mother and daughter picnics and stuff like that. So, why is this pool important to me? I'll tell you why. I grew up here. This is my sister. Guys, I'm sorry. I'm getting emotional. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I was not expecting the ducks to be here. I was not expecting this to look banded. I've been coming here since I was two, and this never happened. This never happened where we had ducks in the pool. <laughs> All right. <sighs> Sorry. I'll start again. Ready? All right. Hi, this is Kimmy B here with Pretzels in History talking about the Mannheim Central Pool. Why are we talking about the Mannheim Central Pool? Because this is my hometown. This is where I grew up. This is my pool. This is my town, for God's sakes. I grew up here since I was two years old. What the heck do I pull up to? Freaking sanctuary of ducks. This never been like this. This never had been a pond of ducks. This always has been and will always be my playground. I cannot believe that this town has not helped clean this crap up. I get it, our town has never really had money or found it in money and that they always found it into other sports. But it is time now to forget about sports, not to forget about all sports and focus on one sport, but it is now time to focus on all of them. And this sport is definitely needing it. There is a swim team for God's sakes that has been here. The swim team, I forget what year it started in. I'm thinking it started in the 70s up until now. And it still is going on now. But if they don't have their pool back, there is going to be no damn swim team. I don't know what the hell this town did, but this used to be my playground. <laughs> this really used to be my sister and I's playground. My sister and I grew up here. She even worked here when she was 16 as a lifeguard. Those are lifeguard chairs right there. And they're not, and there's ducks now underneath there. And there's never have been ducks that I can remember being near the pool. I know you guys think this is funny, but really in reality, it's not. Because the reality is the teacher used to work here at a high school. We never had this town, never had pool. So he took a kind and out of his heart and is to say back in the 60s and 70s, hey, I'm going to make a pool here for this town that they can love and enjoy. So he did that. So what the heck happened? Here's what the heck happened. So believe it or not, and this is happening in every town, and this is sad. They're having pools in every town being run down like this. It should not look like this. A town should be nice, neat, and clean, and cleaned up, and have everybody to have a pool to enjoy. And it should not be highly expensive, but I get it. It is expensive because, yes, they do need money. I get it. Pools are expensive. So what is going on here? I mean, it says it's not just our town, and it's obviously happening to every town. And, by the way, I heard that if you have a pool at your house and say you have a diving board, you're lucky because I heard that now. If you buy a house and you want a pool in it, you can't get that diving board because of insurance will be sky high. And it's like insurance policy thing now with new houses that you don't have it because of liability and all this other stuff and that you need to have gates. Anyway, we're standing on the side of the pool. This used to be the back of the concession stand. My sister and I would volunteer to work in this stand. Yes, it was so freaking hot. There was no air conditioning. It was just a dinky fan. But yet we would be doing, we'd be working back there to help fundraise the Mannheim Central High School swim team and also the summer swim team. 
where do I start? So I start with, there used to be two diving boards. I am shocked to see that they removed the high diving board. I guess because that, again, what was that for? Uh, I get an accident happened where, thank God, the person survived. And that's why they had a thing that we had to be a certain height to get on a high dive. But seriously, was that a liability that they just said, oh, we can't have a high dive anymore? Or now they just like removed that? Like what the heck is going on here? I don't understand people. If anybody can give me some answers, that would be great, including the Mannheim Borough. Because I'll also tell you this, this pool was actually endangered. Believe it or not, back in two, like problems started back in 2000, 2001. That would be the year, 2000 would be my last year on the swim team. 2001 where I would be a freshman in high school. So I had no idea that in the beginning of my last year of swim team till now, that this pool was in jeopardy where they actually had to go to Littitz and say, hey Littitz, can you help us? Can you help us fundraise? They made a contract and a deal with an organization with Littitz to come and help us. So guess what? Littitz said, yes, we will help you, we'll have a contract. Well, guess what? 2019, bam, pandemic hit. What happened? Littitz said, oh, sorry, Mannheim, your contract is up. You wanna renew it? Mannheim said, I don't know, like what's this gonna cost? And when they said the cost and how they're kind of having funding problems too and how they're not gonna really put much funding into this as much, Mannheim said, okay, well, you don't wanna to put too much funding in, guess what, Littitz, we're not signing with you. So it shut down for nearly two years. It was supposed to be up and running this year with the pandemic, but as you can see, it is now a duck sanctuary. And we also found out that there is also problems that are broken that need to be fixed, like, uh, like a leakage pipe, like a pipe is like leaking or something like that, where it needs all new pipes. It needs probably to be redone. So there's only one pool that they allowed to be open and thank God that is still the swim team. But what, but my question is this, what is going to happen when that pool, when something happens to that pool and that needs something new, what are they gonna say? Oh, sorry, we don't have anybody to help us fund it. So guess what? Mannheim Central is no longer gonna have a swim team. And that to me is sad. Kids need to be in sports. I can show you exactly what pool I used to get up. And, not, and I'm not kidding, guys. I used to get up every day at 5 a.m. 5 a.m. I had to get up, get ready, be down here by 6 a.m. Because then I'd be running around, doing exercise, and then being in the pool by 7 o'clock in the morning until, I don't know, 8 or 9 o'clock in the morning. Sometimes I'd be back down here again at night. Yeah. In swimming, that's all you got was no sleep, just swim, day and night. And then I'll tell you, if we won the championship, we were down here Friday through Sunday, nothing but swimming. And then by, or I'm sorry, Friday through Saturday, we'd be down here in our tent swimming until the champion, until we got our awards, which would be Sunday, where then we had to come down here again to do a cookout and get ice cream and get our swimming award for the year. I have been on this swim team, believe it or not, this was my longest sport I have ever done in my life. I have been on the swim team from first grade all the way up to eighth grade. Yeah, that's a long time. That's a long time, I think, for anybody to, be a, to do a sport. And that is how much I love and is passionate about swimming. And I swear to God, if this pool goes, this is my last piece of my childhood. Because guess what also the town did? Right behind the pool where the swim team once got their picture done, you see it would be a beautiful wooden playground with all of our names on it and plaques that the parents bought. Guess what they did? Burned it. Why? Oh, because they, did, they forgot. The person that wanted the playground forgot. They didn't think, oh, I forgot. Like in the next 20 years or so, this is going to need a uh, fix up and, you know, new wood and stuff. And they didn't know how to get that, that money either. So because of that, they burned it. So let me give you the tour of where we swam. Okay, well, I wanna show you where we swam. This first garage door, that used to be the entrance. That's how you got into the pool. Yeah, now it's locked up. How sad is this? This is very sad. I can't believe that my town is doing this. YMCA Roses apparently is supposed to help us, but they are too in danger because they don't know 
if they even had the money for the funding to help us. I hope that they have the funding. The last meeting, if Mannheim Central is going to have a pool or not, is going to be on September 12th at 5.30 is the last meeting. So hopefully with this story and my story, I really hope this gets my point across because this is why this town needs a pool because where else are kids going to swim? They're already swimming creeks where they can hit their heads on rocks and stuff and it is not safe. It is not safe at all to be swimming in creeks. You need to have lifeguards and stuff. And I get it, that's another thing. But also town pools are shortage of lifeguards. And I hope, and I wish that Derry Township, I hope they're advertising they need lifeguards because they're open all year round. But the problem is with not a lot, not a lot, not a lot of lifeguards, you can't have a, a lot of lanes opened. And then believe it or not, one of the kids I swam with actually was going out for the actual Olympics, not the Special Olympics, the actual Olympics. And I had swam with him for a very long time. And yes, it was in this pool where we would have our meets, our practices. I mean, he was the first one I know that was a really great swimmer. I was really hoping he'd make it to the Olympics, but because his time was off, slightly by a few seconds, he didn't get into the Olympics. But right here would be the pool. There used to be the blocks, and I stood on one of those blocks to hold the American flag for the national anthem because my sister told me they needed volunteers for her. So this right here is the lap pool. This is the last surviving pool to make it to be the swim team. So when this goes, what's going to happen then? That is my question to you, Mannheim. That is my question to you, to the YMCA Rose, and to the school district. If you, because if YMCA Rose can't help it, can't help this pool, then that is my question. What happens to the swim team? And yes, I'm wearing this jacket that literally says, I had had this jacket, not kidding, ever since I was like in third or fourth grade and it still freaking fits, believe that or not. Yeah, that's, and I'm now showing my age, but I'm now 37 years old and I cannot believe I still fit my jacket from a child. Is there anything else? That's it. I'm scared. I think we're gonna be all right. It's just that parking space right there, right? That says park at Everest. Or is it all of them? It's just that one spot because there's a tree and if you park there, you know. For the record, that was a joke. That sign, I don't, you know, other than, other than at night, you know, like people, like there might be vandalism and stuff like that. Yeah, I can't, there I is. just can't imagine what that sign means other than that. Yeah, that sign's been there for years. It looks pretty fresh to me. I don't know. The post has been there for years, but the sign itself is pretty new. I can tell because I used to work on a sign crew.